Sandstone cliffs tower over a valley floor. On screen text, Zion National Park, wheelchair accessibility. Welcome to Zion National Park. Known as Mukuntuweep, or Straight Canyon, by the Southern Paiute, the rock walls of the canyon rise over 2,000 feet above the canyon floor. A wheelchair user on a paved trail. Here you can gaze up at sheer cliffs in shades of cream, pink, and red, set against a brilliant blue sky. Prickly pear cacti. Although the park is located in the desert, there are also many opportunities for viewing wildlife. A deer browsing on a shrub. A butterfly. The towering monoliths of Zion are made of ancient sand dunes, cemented together into sandstone. Tiny amounts of minerals, especially iron, present in between the grains, give the rock its many colors. Sandstone Mountain Peaks The thick layers of sandstone and other types of rock have been dissected by the erosive power of water. A river flows over boulders. Today, the Virgin River continues to cut down through these rock layers. There are several wheelchair accessible opportunities to recreate in Zion and to take in its natural and cultural heritage. On screen text, entering the park. Zion National Park entrance sign. Zion is one of the most visited national parks in the country with over 4 million visitors each year. Plan for delays at the entrance gate and have your federal access pass and photo ID ready. A visitor hands a ranger a federal access pass. The Federal Access Pass is available for free to U.S. citizens or permanent residents with permanent disabilities. A low sandstone building. On screen text, Zion Canyon Visitor Center. Head to the Visitor Center for information on accessible features, current conditions, and to catch the shuttle into the park. A wheelchair user reads an exhibit sign. Rangers at the Zion Canyon Visitor Center are available to help you plan your trip and can provide you with a variety of maps and publications. Here you can also request permits to drive into the canyon if you are unable to take the shuttle. Water bottles on a shelf. Did you forget something for your trip? The Zion Forever store is also located inside the Visitor Center. A visitor in a wheelchair in a gift shop. He enters a single occupant restroom. Outside, you can find accessible restrooms, water bottle filling stations, and outdoor exhibits on Zion's natural and cultural history. The outdoor shade structures are a good place to escape the midday heat. A shuttle bus drives by. On screen text, Zion Shuttle System. From early March through November, access into Zion Canyon is by shuttle bus only. All shuttle buses are wheelchair accessible. Use of your personal vehicle is restricted to individuals requiring additional vehicle-supported medical devices or when the shuttle bus cannot accommodate you. The shuttle provides access to all visitor facilities within the canyon. A visitor in a wheelchair inside a bus. A ranger on the bus speaks into the microphone. Ranger-led shuttle tours are available daily in the summer. You must reserve your spot in person at the visitor center up to three days in advance. A shallow river surrounded by trees, cliffs in the background. The Perus Trail is a one and a half mile long paved trail that descends 50 feet from Canyon Junction to the visitor center with minimal grade change. A visitor in a wheelchair on a paved trail. Set in the heart of Zion Canyon, this trail provides spectacular views of Zion's cliffs and desert habitat. A shade structure. Much of the trail is exposed to direct sunlight, so avoid the Perus Trail during the heat of the day during warmer months. A visitor in a wheelchair crosses a pedestrian bridge. Perus translates to rushing waters in the Southern Paiute language, and the trail closely follows the Virgin River. The Milky Way Galaxy over Zion. The Perus winds through the widest part of Zion Canyon, opening the sky for stargazing. Hanging flowers. On screen text, Riverside Walk. The Riverside Walk is one mile long, paved, and is accessible for the first four tenths of a mile. The shuttle stop at the trailhead features an accessible restroom, shade structure, and drinking water. 
Here, the canyon becomes much narrower, with sheer cliffs close in on either side. A visitor in a wheelchair, he looks out over a river and canyon from a paved trail. While the trail is paved, sand may be present, making the surface slippery. Wheelchair over sandy trail. There is an accessible resting and turnaround area four tenths of a mile in. Beyond this point, short sections of the trail exceed a 20% slope and may become sandier. Flowers growing out of the cliff. A bus stop below tall cliffs. On screen text, Big Bend. For an accessible scenic viewpoint, get off the shuttle at Big Bend. Here you will find views of some of the most famous features in Zion, including Angel's Landing and the Great White Throne. A visitor in a wheelchair takes a picture. You may even see California condors flying overhead. A low lodge under tall cliffs. On screen text, Zion Lodge. The Zion Lodge is the only dining option inside the park, with an accessible restaurant and cafe featuring indoor and outdoor seating. There are also accessible restrooms and water filling stations. A visitor in a wheelchair exits an elevator and enters a restaurant. He fills a water bottle at a fill station. Accessible lodging is available in the hotel or historic cabins. Make reservations far in advance. More dining and lodging options are available outside of the park in the nearby town of Springdale. A wheelchair accessible cabin. Riders on horseback cross a river. On screen text, Canyon Trail Rides. If you have a strong sense of balance and some upper leg muscle control, you can hit the trails on horseback. This is a unique way to beat the crowds and experience a more intimate Zion. Southern Paiute Basketry, on screen text, Zion Human History Museum. Human habitation in the area now known as Zion extends for over 10,000 years. An ancient sandstone structure. And this area is a part of the Southern Paiute homelands. Permanent exhibits in the museum display the rich human history of Zion National Park, showcasing the Southern Paiute culture, pioneer settlement, and Zion's growth as a national park. A large theater, the park film plays. Here you can also catch the free park film, attend a ranger talk, or just enjoy the view of the temples and towers of the Virgin. A small sandstone building, on screen text, Zion Nature Center. The Zion Nature Center is open during the summer season and has a variety of exhibits, books, and games for children to explore. A child in a wheelchair moves through exhibits. Summer youth programs designed for families and children are also available. Ask a ranger for a self-guided Junior Ranger activity booklet. Completion of the booklet will earn you a Zion Junior Ranger badge. A flat campsite, on screen text, Watchman Campground. Watchman Campground has accessible sites and multiple other flat sites with easy access to accessible restrooms. Paved paths lead to the visitor center and shuttle stop. A car drives into a tunnel. On screen text, Zion Mount Carmel Highway. A 12 mile scenic highway connects the south and east entrances to Zion. A tunnel window dug into a sandstone cliff. This rugged route features a historic tunnel through the base of the Navajo sandstone, completed in 1930. From the main canyon, this road travels up steep switchbacks to the east side of the park, where you will find unique slick rock features and accessible viewpoints, including checkerboard mesa. A sandstone mesa with a checkerboard pattern. Bighorn sheep. You may even spot herds of bighorn sheep. Cars at a viewpoint, on screen text, Kolob Canyons. Located in the northwest corner of the park, Kolob Canyons features a visitor center, Zion Forever store, and a five-mile scenic drive. A gift shop. 
The scenic drive climbs past the spectacular canyons and red rocks of the Kolob Canyons area and ends at the Kolob Canyons viewpoint. Yellow fall oak leaves. On screen text, Kolob Terrace. This steep 20 mile scenic drive climbs north from desert washes into oak, aspen, and fir covered plateaus set high above Zion Canyon. High cliffs and sandstone peaks in the distance. At the end of the road is Lava Point, a scenic viewpoint at nearly 8,000 feet in elevation. A high viewpoint looking onto Zion Canyon. Wheelchairs may need assistance at Lava Point Overlook. The surface is flat, but graveled. From here, you can look down onto Zion Canyon and over the vast plateau. Prickly Pear Cactus. On screen text, safety in Zion. The desert is an extreme environment. Carry enough water and drink it. Seek shade or head indoors during the heat of the day. Plan outdoor summer activities in the morning. Storm clouds build. Strong thunderstorms are common throughout monsoon season, which occurs from July to September. These storms can cause flash flooding in narrow canyons, but be aware that floods can occur at any time. An antlered deer. Wildlife can cause injury and illness. Keep your distance for your safety and that of the wild animals that call Zion home. Zion sits at a high elevation, from a low of 4,000 feet to a high of 8,000 feet. At these elevations, oxygen concentrations are lower than they are at sea level. You may fatigue more easily and even experience headaches. Sandstone Mountain Peaks. A ranger in front of sandstone cliffs. A gem of the Colorado Plateau, Zion's sheer cliffs of Navajo sandstone stand tall above the Virgin River. There are many accessible opportunities to experience this diverse landscape. These are your public lands waiting to be explored. To plan your visit, head to the Zion Accessibility page at nps.gov forward slash Zion forward slash plan your visit forward slash accessibility dot htm. Head to Zion's main webpage at nps.gov forward slash Zion. You can email rangers at Zion underscore park underscore information at nps.gov, or you can call Rangers at 435-772-3256. The Federal Access Pass is a free, lifetime pass available to citizens or permanent residents of the United States that have been medically determined to have a permanent disability. It does not have to be a 100% disability. It provides admittance to more than 2,000 recreation sites managed by five federal agencies. A manual wheelchair is available for loan in the visitor center at no cost. National Park Service Arrowhead, Zion National Park. SUU, Southern Utah University. IIC, Intergovernmental Internship Cooperative.